All right, hi guys. Um, just going to kind of do a recap on today's class. Um, apparently because I just didn't do the Blackboard Collaborate record. Didn't, didn't take for some reason, or it did, but I can't find it. So anyway, quickly um, go through here. Um, just look at the syllabus. Um, we talk, we're on this um, Albus Lionheart, and what I did was basically talked about how to take the picture from here, go ahead and, and make this smaller, and just take and drag this to your desktop. And once it's on your desktop, I'm going to minimize, minimize this guy, and just get this out of the way, close these things, sorry, and too many tabs, minimize that, way too many tabs open. Okay, so there's Elvis. So I'm going to take Elvis and dra drag him down. I'm going to open mine in 19 because that's what I've been working in. It's, just, it's the same, pretty much the same, so it'll be good. Um, now, when that pops open, what I talked about today was basically what the workspace was like. And, um, come on, Elvis. <laughs> there he is. All right, so we talked a lot about macro keys. So some of the macro keys, and I'll, I'll annotate them on, the, on this um, recording for you. So the first thing that we have here is that we want to make sure you can look to the right on all these panels. The panel that we really want to have open up when we're working is layers. You can see layers click off and on it. It's also channels and paths, channels or colors. But well, we started here and he just asked us to do com command J or control J on a PC and twice. So that's where he started. On the top layer, open it up so you can see what you have here. On this top layer, he wants us to go to command shift U and what I was talking about is reverse that. I said you can do the same thing on adjustments. So go to image, adjustments, and down here to use saturation. Take your slider and bring it over, and that's that. The next thing he did was he went to auto tones. He used command shift L or control shift L on a PC. We can do the same thing here, adjustments, auto tone. And that'll give us, and what I was wanted to, to know about was, and we talked about this, is the, this is the map. So um, this is histogram. So let's do this, go back up. So on this, let's just take a look at, at um, I took that color out again. Now I want to go to levels just to show you this, how this works. Here are the blacks, they start right here. Here are the whites or highlights. So I'm going to bring this up. This is where our contrast is coming from. And bring this down. And so that's how you control it. That's what auto is doing. I typically will do this manually under levels. Command L is levels. Command Shift L is levels. So look at the difference of where they have it set to what I had set. So I might bring that down just a little bit more. So that's the, what we pretty much did today to start, and we'll do a lot more coming up on Wednesday. Kind of a slow start for us. We have these two levers, and then we're going to follow along. So do watch the tutorial so it doesn't seem strange to you. So you can see here we have the Elvis is the image. We opened it. We have line drawing instructions, and then some of the things we're going to learn about are blending modes and filters, and um, 